What did you like and what did you not like about that? I like that it felt like I was scrolling the longer and the mouse stayed on them. But if I, like, move the mouse towards another arrow by accident, it would go that way. So the pad should be pretty spread out then? Yeah, I'd say that. The people we work with really have a, a wide range of ability levels, and most of them can't use their hands to use the keyboard or mouse. So my research group has developed this system called the camera mouse, and that uses a standard web camera uh, to track a feature on a person's face. I select a feature on my face that I want to track, and then my motion causes the mouse pointer to move. And that allows them to control the mouse pointer by just moving their head in front of the screen. So my main project is Camera Canvas, designed to be used with the camera mouse to edit photos and uh, make drawings. So if they have better control in a horizontal axis versus a vertical axis, they can place the buttons horizontally. And they can also grow and shrink the buttons so they have bigger targets to click on. Select the Good Mouse Control Tracker. Try moving left and right. See how it responds when you move. A user with disabilities who holds his head at an angle might move the mouse pointer diagonally when he means a horizontal motion. What my software does is takes their actual motion and translates it into their intended motion. With the adaptive mouse, I can move my head diagonally and still have the mouse pointer move horizontally. You zoom straight across and we're able to hit it. Did you find that easier with this setting? Yes. That makes me pretty happy. There's so much software out there that people with disabilities would really love to use, but it wasn't designed uh, with them in mind. To achieve a task in a traditional piece of software, you might need to navigate the mouse pointer through a menu, down to a sub-option. This isn't feasible for people with severe motor impairments. So one of the new projects I'm working on is this accessibility tool called Menu Controller. It grabs the menu of a program, like the file, edit, view. It redraws them into a sliding toolbar that people with disabilities can move on the screen into places that they can then reach. And that has been a really wonderful effort because this program can be applied to any kind of commercial software. And if you want to stop, look where you want to stop for a while and then the red box will come up. I think it's a really good idea. I really feel like I'm having a positive impact in that I can take my computer science knowledge and apply it into developing software that really can uh, improve people's lives.